Park at Georgia Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, zero, nine, Zulu, weather, wind, three, six, zero, at, four, visibility, one, Definitely zero, coming down. clear, below, one, good two, now. thousand, yep. temporary. As long as you got the alternator setting plug in, we're good. Cool. There you go. All right, uh, we did do a run-up last time, so it's kind of a new part to you. So uh, set the brake for me, so just, yeah, stomp on the brakes and then pull it. There you go. All right, and throw my throttle up to 1,800 and kind of look outside, make sure we're not rolling forward when we okay. do that. Yep, see? Kind of stomp on him. Yeah, so you get a drop in RPM, rise. and then you look for a rise manifold. There goes rise manifold and oil pressure. See it right there in the middle gauge yep. on the top? Right there. There right. you go. Good. Cool. Do you want to do the takeoff? Oh uh, yeah, I can try it. I might be, I might take the landing depending on what it's doing. That's fine. Uh, but I'm okay with you doing the takeoff. Uh, obviously, you know how to do tailwheel takeoff. Uh, uh, stick get that stick pretty much almost all the way forward. Um, be careful. Uh, sometimes I know last flight I had to fight the tram. I don't know. It should be fine. I kind of fixed it. The last last flight I was fighting the tram. Uh, I don't. Is this about neutral then? It should be. I don't. I uh, I don't exactly remember if we had it set on the last flight. Okay. Well, um, guess we're it should be fine. It, it, it's must. You can muscle it out if you really need okay. to. Um, but yeah, so just get that stick forward, get that nose nice and level. Um, well, you start rotating it. Yeah, uh, about 60. I like 60. Uh, I, 60 for me is like where I start relaxing the back pressure and just start adding some pull. I, I like to feel it out. Okay. Gauges look good. I'll get your lights. Uh, vents are open on the front there. Yes, they are. I can see light through them. Means they're open. She's on the go. We're a little faster than her. And she might, uh, that is a private student, so she might kind of let those crosswinds kind of beat her outside a little, pushing uh, right to the uh, to the east there. Down yeah, we're probably good to go. All right. Yep. Eastman traffic, night train 700, department way two, Eastman. Uh, and we're gonna hang a right pretty much on the upwind, and I'll talk you through it, it's really easy. Um, there's a, just a big, uh, wide set of power lines, and, um, if you stay just to the right of those, traffic, it'll take us straight to the box. Okay. Cross onto runway two, it's it's not too bad. Yeah, get that crosswind correction in two for when we get on the roll there. You have a left crosswind, pretty much. Uh, it, it, it's going to be a feeler. Like it, it's less left than it was earlier. All right, let's All right, boogie. East of traffic, nitrate 2 a 4 There you go, get that stick forward. Get Eastern. that stick forward, there you go. There you go, keep me on the center line. Very nice, right there, hold the nose right about there. Awesome. See how quickly she accelerated? Oh, and yeah. then just pump those brakes? Alrighty. Awesome, not bad, isn't it? Yep. She just got the power. All right, let's go ahead, just like an arrow, let's go ahead and start kind of working the power back to 25 squared. Okay. So I throw my power back to 25 inches, and, um, it sounds like you have a pretty good amount of flight experience outside the school. You know the uh, the twist knobs, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. Just check. It feels way better than it did earlier, and it's only going to get better. Bang our time. Um, Those are the power lines you're talking about? Uh, Yep. Those are them. So if you just track those off to the right, just stay to the right of them, and I'll kind of talk you through the box. All right. It's not too bad. East for driver night tree, 700 is upwind, turning a right crosswind, gonna depart in the right crosswind to the east. Eastwind. I'm very paranoid about your camera out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like worried, well, I'm just gonna look over and it's gonna be gone. Uh, it's been out, that's the camera that goes outside, so. Yeah. Is it the cheapest of them? Uh, or it's just yeah, that's the it's, smallest? It's the smallest one, yeah. so that's one I always like to put out there. Okay. All right, so uh, the box is about seven or eight-ish to the east, southeast. Uh, if you follow these power lines, like with your eyes, right. do you see where they kink off to the left? Yes. There's kind of a corner. Yep. I that's see. the far corner of the box. That is the northern corner and okay. the eastern corner. There is a gray road that might be kind of hard to see right now that'll cross perpendicular to those power lines, and it goes off to the south, off to our right. And that is the 
western like border. The power lines are the northern border. The gray road is the western border. There's high. There's a highway. You can actually see Chauncey pretty well. So see Chauncey off that, to the that right. That city right there. It's uh, it's further off to the right. Okay. So it's that one. See the one kind of right in front of our wing there. Right. That's Chauncey. It's very tiny. Okay. So that's Chauncey. Because we should be getting towards the gray road. Yeah, I think I see it. Uh, so Chauncey's off to our right there. Um, that there's a highway that runs off to uh, the east, and that is the southern border. And then there's an invisible line. You can actually kind of see it if you know what you're looking for. But there's a factory about 45 degrees right in front of us. Okay. So. I mean, you can't really see my hand very well. Uh, but, like, if you just kind of look to your right just a tad on the ground, maybe about seven or eight miles off to our 45 right in the front there, there's a big factory, a big building. It just looks like a big building. And that is the uh, southern and eastern corner. Okay. But we're about to be pretty much in the box. If you look down, you see the triangle of trees there below us, almost below us. So bank the plane a little and look to your left. See that triangle of trees there where there's the dirt oh, yeah, road? Yeah, yeah. That's the corner. So okay. see this gray road that goes right under us and yeah. it goes off to the distance there? Okay. That's our that's our border. So once we cross that, we're in the box. Gotcha. What else are we at right now? Uh, 35, coming up on 35 right now. Coming up on 35. Increase that power to 25 inches. inches. Uh, there you go. And then what I like to do is as we're climbing, I hang a right because the box is longer north to south than it is east to west. Okay. So you're going to have the most opportunity to do maneuvers. Um, and honestly, while we're up here, uh, we can, I mean, at whatever altitude you want, we can do slow flight seat turn stalls. I just, we don't need to do all of them uh, and not really even a commercial standards. We're just trying to get you familiar with the aircraft. Okay. So yeah, kind of like what, what your 45 degree bank is going to feel like maintaining altitude, what a 60 degree bank is going to feel like maintaining altitude. Uh, so just kind of feel the airplane out, get acclimated, do some stalls, do whatever you want. Okay. Um, we're just kind of learning the plane, learning the sensitivity of these bad boys, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah. Going slow. Do a little bit more to the right. We'll go a little more to like the south-ish. Keep me coordinated. Oh yeah. And I like to feel coordination. Yeah. This is where it turns to very much an outside maneuvers airplane. Um, by the way, does that GoPro hook to the plexiglass? Does that have stable stabilization? Yes, yes, <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, it it's shaking pretty hard. Uh, Rolf's GoPro kept falling off, so kind of be keeping an eye okay. on it just in case. You, it looks like you have a better uh, suction cup mount than he did. Okay. All right. But his was coming off a lot. It also depends on where you hook and it you up. And you want at. 21, 24? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 21, 24, um, and then we'll just kind of roll into some steep turns. Okay. Um, kind of see what it feels like to, oh, uh, switch me over to dispatch frequency, please, and I'm gonna make an MGA traffic call. One, two, three, zero. Is it one, two, three, three? Yep. All right, there you go. Cool, thank you. MGA traffic, Nitrine 700 established in the aerobatic box, 4,500 maneuvering above and below, MJ. Okay. Yeah, just throw it right into a bank. Just kind of feel that, feel the coordination that you need, right? It's honestly just a very slight pressure. Yeah. And just like you know, right, the the pressure is only when you're deflecting the ailerons. Okay. Miles to the east of Eastman. Okay. Julia engine failure on a 3,000 feet. Look up below, Julia. Julia, are you in the box? No, she's 15. Say again. You're 15, so you're probably closer towards McCray than you are to the aerobatic box, right? I sure am. All right, cool. We're just we're in the box right now, so just keep an eye out for us. Yeah, I see where you are in ABSC. Cool. Let's do a little bit more bank. So we'll just kind of see what it feels like, and then yeah, just kind of transitioning between the two. Just kind of feel the ailerons out. Feel what coordination needs to be. There you go. And if you need to increase power, you can. Because I can feel her slowing down. You feel I don't know if, I don't know if you feel it, but you feel kind of a vibrating sen sensation. Yeah, yeah. That's um that's just the plane getting slow. Okay. So right now we need right rudder. Yep. There you go. Right there, it's better. Nice. This is planted. I feel planted right now. This is good. 
it's pretty steep too. And if you do a 60 degree bank, no matter the airplane, how many G's is it? Two. Two. Exactly. And 60 degrees all the way to the top, right? Or to the side of the attitude indicator? I yep. Remember it's that furthest point. So let's do let's do a 60 degree bank. I don't know why the uh, maybe it's just we didn't pull enough. More like one G in those. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can't get two Gs just out of that 60 degrees bank. There you go. Hold that altitude. Hold 60, hold altitude, stay coordinated. And if you need to, increase power. This is such a fun airplane. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty fun compared to the aero, I'm not going to lie. And what's interesting about, uh, depending on how perfect your steep turns are, sometimes you can get caught in your own wake turn. Like that? <laughs> like that. Exactly like the rest. <laughs> I thought it was right as I said it. Uh, one weird thing that's probably the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me in this plane, I got caught in my own wake turbulence on a hammerhead stall. Oh, wow. Yeah, amazing. so like, but got caught, didn't just go through my wake, like got caught. Oh, really? Yeah, so in the pullout of the hammerhead stall, I'm, you know, I'm just pulling out, I'm wings level, and then the plane just started banking over to the right. Uh, that was good enough for me. Uh, let's uh, kind of hang about a 180. Uh, and we'll go towards those power lines, kind of eat it over, make it nice and aggressive, nice and fun. Uh, and we will uh, do like a quick power off stall. Okay. So right there. Yeah, this is good. All right, so power off stall. So work power all the way back and just kind of hold altitude. And just kind of recover like you would. Uh, you don't need to go full power on this uh, just because we have the uh, RPMs kind of set. I don't really like to fly over squared if I don't have to. Uh, just kind of throw it about squared, 24 squared is enough. Okay. And pretty much, yep, you felt that? Good. So yeah, and then she's flying again. So yeah, uh, a lot of the times it's just pretty much simultaneous. You get that stick full back, she stalls. Right. Because you're, you're exerting all of the possible uh, elevator deflection as you can. All right, hang me about 45 to the left. Let's go towards that triangle. Uh, and if you want, do you feel comfortable with the airplane? And yeah. you want to go ahead right into some rolls? Sure, let's go. All right, for cool. It. So I'll demo a roll really quick. All right, your controls. So my controls. So what I like to do is, oh, uh, reach or not reach in, uh, bring the uh, prop up to 2,500 for me. We go 25 squared on just about all these maneuvers. Okay. Unless we're doing a spin, obviously, in that in which case we're idle. All right. <laughs> all right. So I like to get 130. Okay. okay. So I'm just kind of looking for 130, and I kind of have it trimmed for about 130. Right there, we're gonna go up to about 20, unload, full left, and I ease my rudder out, and then back in, and then stop, and then out of the dive. Just like that. So you kind of felt how boxy it was, yeah. right? Okay. So your controls. My controls. Your controls. So get her to, you're pretty much at 130 if you want. Go ahead and kind of get her, keep those wings nice and level. If you need to get a little bit faster, it kind of feels like we're starting to slow down. Yeah. Let's get her at 130, make sure the wings are level. I'm eyes outside other than looking at my airspeed and looking at the pitch. So 20, there you go, and stop right there. So you feel a little bit negative. Yeah. Yeah, and we have more stick left if you want it. Okay. So I like to roll as fast as I can. Okay. So get that stick over. Yep. All right. So good to go again then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So you went kind of straight into it. Okay. That's essentially what happened there. So I want to unload because what's happening there is because you're pulling, right? And if you're going straight into it, you end up pulling through the whole maneuver, if that makes sense. Right. So you want to get it up to the 20, stop so it's neutral, and then roll, okay, okay. if that makes sense. Okay. So I got, I kind of yeeted the controls for me. Right. <laughs> your okay. airplane. Uh, actually here, uh, bank me, Go. let's go to the left. We're gonna go towards Chauncey. Everyone makes fun of how I say Chauncey. I say Chauncey, I don't know, I don't know what it is. What else are we at? Uh, 48. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're well above where we <laughs> honestly normally are. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, right there is good. Cool. All right. So uh, 25 squared, and let's kind of get that 130. Okay. Nice and aggressive pull to 20 degrees nose up. All right, 130. Unload the wings. Good. Roll. So we got way too nose low. Yeah. So we didn't get too fast, but we got too nose low. Get that stick over, and I think you're pulling still. Okay. So just neutralize those controls. Okay. And then just go straight left. Okay. Yeah. 
I remember this was actually one of the harder maneuvers I tried to fly, because I could never get it perfect. So right to 20. You're still pulling. Oh. Yep. I felt that pull. We yeah. didn't neutralize all the way. <laughs> Just kind of go like forward and to where it's like, like you kind of feel how there's like no resistance right there in the middle. Like right. you were kind of like doing this and then like relaxing, but we still had like pull. I don't know. Um, we're, we were just still pulling, and there you go, right there. Uh, you're airplane. Sorry. All right. Um, let's make a 180. Let's uh, let's do. I'll demo a wing over real quick. Okay. All right. So pretty much the same setup. So 130, 130, up to 20, 90, and pull. So you feel all those kind of boxy maneuvers. See how the nose kind of dropping? Yeah. And stop. Okay. So we're in between each deflection, you're airplane. In between each deflection, we are making a change, all right? Okay. And we're stopping. So we're pitching up to 20, stop. Roll to 90, stop. Pull all the way until I tell you to stop, pretty much about a 180 usually. Uh, and then stop, and then roll wings level, and then pull from the dive. Okay. And we're stopping all these little pauses. And literally, it doesn't have to sit there. Pull, pause, go right into it. Okay. So yeah, uh, let's do another roll. Better. Ah, all right, that recover. Yeah. yeah, what did we not do there? Rudder? Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly right. So that adverse y'all took over. Yeah. So just throw that throw that rudder in simultaneously with your stick deflection. Okay. Yep. All right, a little too short on the pause. I think we also, I don't know if we went, did we go full 20 degrees nose up? Uh, no, probably not. I didn't feel like it. Felt like we were a little nose low. All right, we have the altitude. Let's uh, kind of whip it around. We're about to be outside the box here. Kind of give me more like a, honestly, right turn. Give me towards pointing towards the corner, the kink off the power lines, that'll be good there. Okay, so I want a little bit of more aggressive of a pull, okay, okay, up to 20. So right there. Okay, so a little bit more aggressive on the back pressure to get me to 20, all right? Okay. Because what's happening is if you're too hesitant and it takes us too long to get to that 20 degrees nose up, what happens is we bleed off airspeed. Okay. All right, so we want to get there, stop, roll, and just go literally full stick left. Straight left, but as far left as you can get it. Okay. And then throw some left rudder in there, and then in the inverted, kind of relax it. And once we're coming back around from the inverted, bring it back in. So okay. let's do that again. Yeah, we're pretty much 30, so we're good to go. Good, that's better, right there. Not bad. My only critique is we need a pause. We didn't go full neutral. We still kind of had some back pressure in, and it. but you had a quick enough roll rate that we didn't get so nose low because okay. we had a little bit of back pressure. So and when I'm in upside down, I have a back pressure, and is that the problem? Well, it's in the end. When, when we're pulling up initially, okay. you kind of like chained it. So I'll take, I'll kind of take the stick, but feel it out. So you kind of like did this. Right. Okay, so I didn't stop. So okay. we didn't stop. Okay. Yeah. So what we want is we're just, we're pulling, stopping. I just, I didn't, I didn't have enough air speed there. But yeah. you get my picture. Okay. So you got the airplane? Yeah, I got it. Uh, give me a right hand bank towards Chauncey there. We're about to be outside here. That's McCray. So it's the next little city that you'll see kind of coming up. See the highway there? Yeah. That highway feeds right, right into there. Chauncey. Yep, that little yeah. town there. So point right at it. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, oh God, that sun kind of sucks. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So yeah, get my airspeed. Let's go to 20. There you go. Good. Good. Oh, that was awesome. That was good. Still my too low. my only critique. I thought you were in four four one. My only critique was that uh, we didn't have enough roll rate, and that's what caused that no nose, nose to kind of drop too okay. far. Because you didn't, you weren't really pulling. I felt it kind of going back and forth. I think you were just kind of feeling it out, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, because we were rolling so slow, the nose was able to drop more than it normally does. Okay. But that was my only critique on that one. Everything else was good. How's our tanks looking? Uh, three fourths and uh, almost empty. A fourth, yeah, on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. I am super curious if rolling it inverted 
reverse of the problem because I, I, I want to say it's happened. <laughs> like, roll it that way then, or what? Like Wait. inverted, inverted. Oh. I feel like inverted reverses the problem, but I'm oh. not super confident in that. Go for it. Here, <laughs> I just like do a little knife edge, like yeah. this number. <laughs> that made it worse, I think. Really? Yeah. Now it's reading empty. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's reading empty. That's the weirdest thing ever. That made it worse. Yeah, it's coming back now, but it was. It's in it between. Is? Yeah, it's in between a fourth and empty then. That helped. Really? Yep. It's uh, in between a fourth and a half now. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And that one's at a half now, so. All right, you have the controls. All right, the controls. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> I definitely lost altitude above both of those because I did not have the airspeed for it. Yeah. I just minimized altitude loss with the rudder. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It was kind of fun, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, what is our altitude, by the way? Oh, uh, 41. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, all right. Uh, we can do a couple more rolls. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let's do a wing over. Let's have you do a wing over. Okay. So if you remember that, similar thing in the steps. 130, all right? Okay. Pitch up to 20. That's step one. Step two, roll to 90, all right? Step three, pull through the turn. And then get about a 180. Like, I'll, I'll call it, but okay. do what you can to get a 180. Um, and then stop the turn. Roll out of it. Your nose is going to be kind of low. And then pull out of the dive. Okay. Okay. Uh, to the right. Let's do left. Okay. Yeah. I like left. Yeah. And then remember, rudder with my deflection. So as we roll to 90, we're ruddering and then pulling. Okay. All right. There you go. And stop. Ah. Uh, remember, neutralize those controls in between each thing. Yeah, I was getting low. <laughs> yeah, I see. So you kind of chained it. So you're yeah. kind of trying to make it smooth, and that's the commercial pilot and you doing lazy eights <laughs> and like stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> but it's if you watch like aerobatics and everything, it makes it look better if you're doing all these little pauses. Okay. Um, it feels kind of weird, but it's you're you're pausing for such a brief amount of time. It's not enough to really change your phase of flight. It's not enough to like kill your airspeed or let the nose fall or this and that. Like it 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 does. It, it's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to do. You're kind of just boxing it out. It looks, if anything, sexy. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do another roll. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, easy there. So you panicked with your rudder. Yeah. Pull out a dive. I just didn't want to get into the yellow. All right, you have the power. All right. I just kind of pulled your power. You just got a little nose low there. Um... Probably didn't really need to pull the power. I just didn't really want to get super close to the yellow. Um, really, what happened there? You switched your rudder. Like, what do you mean? You, it felt like you like went right rudder. Oh, oh, all right. I think. Did you go neutral? I might have went neutral. Yeah. Okay. So. I back up. I'm trying to think. Because it just felt like in the middle of that maneuver, like we switched rudders. Yeah. Like it literally felt like you put in right rudder it might have, it for might have. the roll. Yeah. Um, were you looking at the ball at all? No, I don't think so. Okay. Because um, that's I go by feel on this thing. Yeah. Uh, it, it's supposed to feel nice and planted. Yeah. Uh, let's make a 180, and we since we don't have the airspeed, we won't worry about a wing over. Uh, let's just kind of make a 180 off to which way. Once we get leveled out, I do want to see the tanks. I'm actually curious if it's consistently stayed where it's supposed to be. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. I tried to gravity feed it into the right side. And that didn't work. I had to do it the opposite yeah. way. <laughs> uh, that's the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> it's we honestly what we think it is. It's a fuel cap issue. Really? Because if you switch the caps, it reverses the problem. Oh, that makes sense. Then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's reading empty again, and that's still at three fours. <sighs> that's weird. All right. I don't like getting it super close to empty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't play. Even if it's like nice on one side. All right, let's do a roll, and then we'll roll it on back. Remember the pauses. Pull and pause and roll. I got two. All right, on the and road. stop and pull out of the dive. So you you chained it almost, but then when I said stop, you stopped and kept the nose where it was and then pulled out. So remember, 
just stop the roll where oh, the nose is. It's yeah. okay that the nose is low. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm doing. I think if I'm rolling out and pulling back at the same time, I think. Yeah, you are. Okay. So you're kind of chaining the recovery. Right. Um, but yeah, so, all right, we can roll back to East Manistan. Uh, let's go ahead and get the weather. Let's work the power back to 21, 24. I don't want to burn so much gas. Oh, did you want me to do a, th a thingy thingy? Yeah. Okay. If you want to, that'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't want to go back just yet, I'll take it. So yeah, I guess my controls to be. Yeah, it's all right, I got you. I see I'm descending. All right, where's Chauncey? Uh, did I turn all the way, did right I turn too far? No, it's right oh, there. Okay, cool. All right, 25 squared. I'm gonna get 140. There's 140, and we're gonna do a four second vertical. Are right, you ready? All right. And we're gonna look left. Keeping the wing right where I want to. And stop. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four. Feel the buffet. And stop. One, 1,000. And pull from the dive. Great. Whoop. That was cool. Yeah. That's a fun maneuver. Yeah. All right. Let's roll it on back. And we didn't even break more than three Gs in that, like, recovery. That's my favorite part of the maneuver, is that down. Yeah, that's that, really cool. The rudder going down, you feel like the buffet, it's like... <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> it's like close to the stall, she's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wes does this really cool thing where he'll kind of chain it. He'll chain a hammerhead stall and do it right into a spin. In that left rudder, as he's breaking through the horizon, he adds full stick back and it goes right into a spin. It's really cool. That would be cool. Yeah, so we make this approach 100 miles an hour. Uh, 95 short final. Okay. I'm trying to see what I want you to do. I might have you shift to the right, like your shift your body. Oh, to the right? Yeah. That should be fun. This makes it easier to me, for me to see. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. It gets bumpy right here, and this is where I was having trouble last time. Way calmer now, though. It was bad earlier. Come on with the balloon. <laughs> Ate up all that runway. <laughs> <laughs> East for Trevor Night Train, 700. Clear runway 2 and flush up, flush up level. I got your lights. And you turn my fuel pump off back there. Up there. <laughs> I miss it. Right up. 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 Right up.